In this video, we take a look at setting up cue points to DJ with in Ableton Live. Find out how, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So now that you know the basics on how to DJ using Ableton Live, let me show you how to set up cue points. So unlike DJ software such as Serato, Tractor, or Recordbox, cue points are, will work a little differently in Ableton. You're not able to set multiple cue points, but what you can do is you can go ahead and copy these clips, the audio, and you can pick a new starting point, which is basically setting a cue point. So for instance, this first one, starts at, the, as you can see, starts at the very beginning of the track. So if I hit play, now if I go to the second one that I copied over, which is the exact same track, as you can see, if I move the start point to say here, now let's go back and forth between these two. So just like that, by moving this little arrow right here, moving it to a new start point, it's sort of like uh, having cue points in your song. What's great about Ableton Live is not only do you have these cue points that you can set up, and you can set up as many as you want, unlike other DJ software where you're limited to either 4 or 8 or 3 or 5 or whichever platform you're on. With this, you can have as many as you want, and it's going to be quantized or you can turn the quantize off but with Ableton Live I suggest leaving the quantize on so all your cue points can start on beat now if you want to be drumming them um, you, you're gonna to want to go ahead and set this to off then then you're able to finger drum out your cue points but if you're just looking to DJ I would set it to one bar or one beat just have a uh, everything will line up on time, especially if you're working with multiple tracks to make sure everything's cleaned up and everything's uh, aligned and synced up. Now another tip I would have is let me just make another copy of this. I'm copying this by holding down the Alt or Option key and clicking and dragging or you can go ahead and right click, copy, and then you can paste to a new cell. So uh, let's set up another one. So let me find another starting point. Let's see. There you go. So we have three different points. Now, what I would do to um, kind of distinguish these is each of these clips, you can change their color. So if you right click, you can change the color. So let's make this one a dark gray. And then that way, all the cue points will be uh, this color gray. So let me go ahead and drag these down. Actually, uh, let me make one more. So what I suggest is making this top track a different color, a similar color. So if you're doing all grays, do like a darker gray and light gray, or a darker blue and lighter blue, and have the first song be the full song. So starting from the beginning, and then these be different cue points within the song. So what I would do is I would set this one back to the beginning, set the next cue point up to where I had it previously, which was at the beginning of the 17th bar, and this one at 41. So that way I have the whole song if I want to play the whole song, and then I have cue points along, um, along the song as well. This will come in handy, say if you have multiple songs, um, you can go ahead and click and drag them in and let me go ahead and drag in another song and show you an example So for instance if I take this song Make this one a dark blue then I would make all the cue points under it like a lighter blue just like this That way just by looking at it. I can tell oops I Can tell where each new song starts so I know this is the, the full song and then these will be cue points I haven't set the cue points for this but just for this example that way it's easy to tell uh, where each new song starts. So if you have a long session and you have a lot of um, 
you have a lot of songs loaded in each deck. You know um, where each song is. Also, like if you do this, you know you can click and drag and take the whole song with all the cue points from one deck to another. If you decide to, you know, throw the song on on this side or whichever way uh, you set up your DJ. So it's just a, a nice visual reminder uh, to know where each song starts and uh, where you have them broken down in your setup. So color coding to me is very important and setting up cue points super simple, super easy as I showed you. All it is is just moving this start point to wherever you want the, the song to start or cue from, cue from. Super simple, super easy to do and makes DJing in Ableton Live a lot more like DJing on CDJs or your favorite DJ software. So that's how to set up cue points in Ableton Live. Question of the day, how do you set up cue points in whatever DJ software you use? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.